many different types of soakaways out there and designs of soakaway that I thought I'd just show you some really simple uh, septic tank soakaway products that will really help you to um, to put a septic tank soakaway in if you're replacing your septic tank soakaway. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do yourself and some of the best products you can you can buy on the market to do that. So let me just get on here. All right, so what I thought is I'll just start by going on to Google. And we're on Google Images here. Okay, so let's have a look. All right, so here's a here's a, a typical um, septic tank um, design. It's like a, a herringbone kind of shape system. <clears throat> As you can see, you've got um, you've got red orange pipes there. They're standard four inch pipes. Probably got slits on the underbelly, perforated, and they're surrounding it with shingle so that the liquid can soak away into that shingle and then soak away into the soil. Now, what's good about this one is that it is on top of a hill. So you can see the hill fall. So, you know, it's probably over overkill, to be honest with you, for the, um, let's have a look here. Oh, okay, so, okay, there's no pictures on there. All right, so let's have a look at view more. Let's have a look, look some interesting ones there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All right, we've just seen that one. All right, here's another interesting one. Look at this. Okay. If I can make it a bit bigger. Or oh, can I make it a bit bigger? There you go. All right, this is another interesting one. Okay, so again, you can see the soak away pipes there. And they've been surrounded by gravel. They've got membrane on top of them. And then soil on top. So another type of soak away. Let's see if I can give you another one, because there's so many different kinds of soakaways on the market today. Yeah, here's another one here. Look. So, again, um, it's a semi-herringbone uh, septic tank soakaway. But the point being is, again, you can see, you're starting to see a pattern to all this, aren't you? You've got um, orange pipes, and you've got shingle around the pipes. and um, You've got a distribution chamber here that all the liquid goes to, and then it's sent left and right uh, of the island there. Let's see if we can show you some more. Ah, here's an interesting one. Uh, attenuation um, crates. Let's see what else we've got. Let's see what else we've got. I think I've gone off. I need to go back one. All right, let's have a look here. All right. Okay, so there you go. There's another um, typical herringbone system there um septic tank and soak away look at that yeah there you go another again orange pipes with slits in and what else have we got <laughs> got that guy in a septic tank in a diving suit what's going on there anyway and um yeah here's an american one again you can see pipes and shingle um it seems that the most common type of soak septic tank soak away is actually there's another one there polybed um it's really expensive here here's another one um drain renovations however these guys are let's have a look here all right so let's see so wow okay that's a nice picture all right there's another interesting um design there so again you can see that they've got perforated pipe on this one um, it, it doesn't matter if you're using orange pipe or perforated pipe. Personally, I prefer, per, 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 I prefer a perforated pipe because um, on the orange pipe, it's just slit on the underbelly. So if those silt up, then there's nowhere else for the water to go. Whereas on the perforated pipe, you've got 360 degrees of perforations along the length of the pipe. So there's millions of holes for the liquid to escape into. But again, you can see a typical pattern here. They've put it on a shingle bed. You can see they've actually um, clamping it, keeping it in its formation there by use of, by means of rods. They're then gonna fill um, the hole in with shingle, put a shingle covering over it and then membrane. But the actual rods here will actually keep the shape of the 
soak away there. So, oh, so what else have we got here? All right, so there's another interesting one, like a spider. Looks like a, a spider, doesn't it? Or an oct octopus or something like that. All right, so what else have we got? So you're getting to see a pattern here of, you know, here's another one. I don't think the resolution's on. You know, someone here, someone's done a soak away pit. That's all right. That's probably a percolation test, actually, looking at it. But you'd be surprised. Oh, there you go. Look, there you go. Some people actually do do pits for the uh, liquid effluent to go into. Soak away pits. There you go. There's one there, look, digging a soak away pit. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? What else have we got? Soak away. Well, let me just go back. Uh, so let me go and try. That was Google. Let me just try. Oops, what's happening there? Ask me. All right. So let's try Bing. See if they've got any different styles of soakways on their images. Here we go. All right. So let's have a look. Now, that's quite interesting. Look at that. I'm going to show you something in a bit. I'm going to show you something in a bit. Ah, there you go. There's a close-up. Do we get a close-up here? Where is it gone? All right. So there you go. There's a close-up of the orange pipe going into the shingle there. But look, you, you get the point, don't you? I mean, I don't want to linger too long on septic tanks and soakaways. But the point is, this seems, if it loads up in a minute, yeah, that, that's a typical design, okay? So you're getting the thing here. So typically, people make... Um, yeah, typically getting back to our original image here, people make soakaways by orange pipe and shingle. And it's a traditional way of doing things, but I'm going to show you a better way, an easier way, uh, a more cost effective way, a more modern way of um, creating an amazing septic tank and soakaway. Have a look at this. All right, let me get this up. So there we go. There we got a there we got a clean playing field. Okay, so here we go. We got a house. So let's just drop down. So all right. So here we got a house here. All right. So if you imagine that's the house, oh, you don't have to imagine. Do you? <laughs> you can see it's a house. But let's pretend that's me looking around there. All right. So there's me having a look around. So I'm going to show you a really simple way to construct a soakaway and. Um, a, 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 I'll start again. I'm going to show you a really simple way to construct your own septic tank and so forth. So let's say that's your property. All right, let's just get an elevated view on this. Here we go. So first of all, right, you need a trench from your house towards where your septic tank is going to be. So let me just do this now, okay? So let's just shut this. So where has my uh, tools gone? Where has my tools gone? That's a very good question. My tools have disappeared. My tools have disappeared off the page, right? So let's try that again. Well, at least you know this is live anyway, don't you? Yeah, at least you know this is live. So, all right. So come on, load up, load up, load up. Here we go. So it's a fantastic program. This is fantastic program. I got discovered this program about three or four years ago. And it's amazing for constructing and designing septic tanks and soakaways and things like that. Okay, here we go. So here's my little toolbar that wasn't there before. So let's zoom in. So, okay, so here's your house and all your wastewater is going to come from your property there. Um, it's going to, from the bidet, from the bath, from the shower, from the dishwasher, from the um, washing machine, from everything, okay, from the sink. So the first thing you need to do if you're going to make your own septic tank and soak away, is you need a trench hole, a trench. There we go. All right, so there you go. So we've got a little trench there, and it's just a, a standard trench, okay? And the trench, now, on the house that you're, you, you've built or you've moved into, somewhere around the house, I don't know where exactly it is on this house, but let's pretend it's at the front here, you're going to have a soil pipe. So all the liquid and that leaves your house will converge into one point. And so let's say the soil pipe's there. So you've got your, you, you make a trench, all right? And after you've done your trench, you then need a hole for the tank. All right, so let's do that now. There we go. So these are the first two basic steps, first two basic things you need if you're going to put your own septic tank and soak away in. Right? You need to dig a trench from your house to your septic tank, and then you need to dig a hole 
for your septic tank. So the next thing we're going to do, right, we're going to put a pipe in to the hole here. So here you go. Uh, pipe, there we go. Look at that. So you've seen enough orange pipes on the videos that I've just shown you there. So there you go. There's your standard four inch underground pipe. And that is connected to your soil pipe. So all the wastewater from your property is going to go down this um, orange pipe. OK, so now we come to the septic tank. So let me just get a cross section here. OK, that's a bit better. So let's take the grass away. OK, so there we go. So we've got the grass taken away there. So let's show you the hole a bit better. So there's your hole and there's your pipe that's coming down the trench you've just made. Now you're going to put your septic tank into the hole. There you go. Ba-da. That's what I made earlier. Okay. Oh, what's going on there? There we go. Now, this particular tank is called um, a bullet-shaped septic tank, bullet-style septic tank. They're, they're very shallow, which means they're only like three and a half foot deep. So they're very, very popular because people can get them in within an hour. So let's say you've been an hour and a half in the garden now doing this. You'll have your trench. And you'll have your tank. So what's next? Well, on this one, we're not going to get you to put a herringbone system in because you don't have to. They're just a serving suggestion. There are no rules and regulations as to what products you should or shouldn't use. It's a fallacy. People try and scare people on the Internet by saying, oh, you shouldn't use this and that because, you know, you should buy our products. Well, of course, they're going to say that, aren't they? So there's a lot of misinformation on the Internet. But once you put your tank in, the next thing you need to do is dig. Another little hole. Now, why, you're probably wondering, have I got another little hole there? Well, you'll notice on the tank there, there's an outlet pipe. And in the outlet pipe of the tank, you put an outlet pipe. So you've got your pipe going in, all the waste water will go into your septic tank, and then you've got your outlet pipe there. Look at that, how cool is that, man? All right, now, the next thing you need is an inspection chamber, okay? So you've got your tank, You've got your inlet to your tank, you've got your outlet, and now it's going to a distribution box or a manhole chamber, inspection chamber, whatever you want to call it. Why? Well, because any sanitary towels, <coughs> um, baby wipes, nappies, they will get trapped in there, right? They get trapped in there and they collect in there. So all you need to do is lift the lid, take the debris out and put the lid back in. They'll save you a lot, a lot of money. OK, so now we come to the soak away bit part of the game. OK, so what's this? This is amazing. -da! So we've dug a little square hole. So let me show you what this looks like from above. If I just put the grass back over. All right. And then do an aerial view. That's what it looks like from above. Look at that. It's as simple as that. You've got your pipe. Coming down, you've got your tank, your inspection chamber, and now you've got your. There we go. Let me just get down there. All right. So what's happening there? All right. So there we go. Oh, there you go. I was actually. Oops. No. I've, oh man, I've fallen into the hole. Hold on. Get out. How do I get out? Okay. I was just trying to get into the hole to show you what it's like. There we go. There we go. So if I'm standing in the actual hole now, look, I'm standing in the actual hole. That's what it looks like. OK, so there's the pipe. There's the tank and there's the inspection chamber. OK, so that's what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. So if you're walking around your garden, that's what it would look like. OK, from um, vantage point of the eye. So let's get back into aerial view now. OK, so now let's carry on with this. Now, in this hole. Oh, where's my flipping? Oh man, my uh, tools have disappeared again. Where's my tools gone? Oh, tools, where's the tools? Where's the tools? Oh man, my tools have gone. My tools have disappeared. Oh, there they are, they're back. Hooray! <laughs> I don't know how or why my tools disappeared, but I've got them back. Okay, so now what I'm about to show you is this, right? Here's this hole you've got, and in the hole, Right, you put your membrane. Now you're probably wondering, what the hell is this guy doing? Well, this is 
a modern soak away that is absolutely fantastic right so you've got your membrane there and this is what we do now well, watch this you simply just put your septic tank crates into the membrane now these i'll just go to start and tell you these are not rainwater crates. You can't use rainwater crates on a septic tank soak away. They just don't work. They clog up, they balloon up, and you end up, even though people buy uh, rainwater crates and put them in their septic tank soak aways, right? Thinking they're going to save money because the rainwater crates are cheaper, but they're made differently and the membrane supplied with them is different. So they just end up ballooning up and they have to flame and replace them after a few months later, you see? So uh, don't be fooled by thinking if you put rainwater crates in your septic tank soak away, you'll save money. You won't. It'll just cause a whole load of problems. So you just end, you, you put your crates in like this, your septic tank crates, like that. That was easy, wasn't it? Look at that. And then all that you do then is put your pipe from your inspection chamber. Let's see if I can do this. There you go. And it literally just fits into the soak away crates. And it probably goes in about a foot, a foot and a half, maybe two foot. And um, hey, presto, you're pretty much ready to go. So, so that will take you, although I've been explaining it for about 15 minutes now, that's what it looks like. And let me show you a cross section of it. Let me show you a cross section on it. Here we go. Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Yeah, there we go. So that's what it looks like from the side. Okay. Simple, elegant, and beautiful. And so this is one of the best soak away um, products I've ever known in my life, apart from Easy Drain. This is just so easy to install. Anyone can do it. It's just made for the DIY market. And once you've done that, all that you do then is just put a cover of membrane over it like so and job done. So there you go. That is, so let me just put the grass back. All right, the glass layer there. So that's what it looks like. When you've finished, that is what your septic tank and soak away will look like amazing and you can get your builder to do this it's so easy to do you can just get your builder to do it no problem at all it's just it, they're just fantastic so for me personally i love septic tank soak away crates now you'll find many sites um will say let's see if i can find one just while i'm here all right it, this is a bit controversial what i'm about to show you but nevertheless though i'm going to do it to prove a point okay so let me just have a look here. All right, so let me put septic tank soak away crates in. So let's see if we can find someone. Here we go. Here we go. All right, all right, I found the site here. I found the site here. All right, who's misleading? All right, here we go. Under the Environmental Agency, right? Right, general binding rules, right. Septic soak away crates and tunnels are also not allowed for septic tanks or any effluent, right? That uh, only for rainwater. Beware of adverts on the internet, right? But they also refuse septic tanks that are installed in groundwater protection uh, sources. Now that's true, that part there is true, right? But it said, um, but it says here, beware of adverts on the internet, right? So look, Soak away crates, right? So rainwater crates are not allowed, right? They're not allowed. Rainwater crates are not allowed, right? That's a fact. But um, this is this company by saying, right? By say they're actually soak away crates and tunnels are not allowed for septic tanks. That's a load of rubbish, right? It's building reg states that any any products can be used for septic tanks and soakways as long as the liquid drains away. So I bet this company sells sewage treatment plants. Yeah, they do. And so, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is a typical site that's scaremongering people into, into buying, I bet, their sewage systems. 
Here you go, yeah. Septic tanks, no longer manufactured as a standard project as they are not allowed in most areas of the UK. That is such a lie. <laughs> if that was the case, no one would be allowed to put septic tanks. So there's a company that's typically trying to scare people from buying septic tanks so they can buy their um, sewage treatment plants. But I just wanted to give you uh, an example of certain companies out there who are scaring people into not buying septic tanks and soak away products, which is relatively cheap and are easy to put in because most septic tanks, 99% of septic tanks in the country, you know, aren't illegal, aren't breaking the rules, aren't breaking the regulations. And um, it's just misinformation put on by companies to get you to buy their products. So look, if you're looking, if you're looking to put a new septic tank or soak away in, then here's certainly something that you should consider. Um, septic tank and soak away crates. Really easy to install. If you want to know where to get them, let me just show you this as well. So you can just go to my site, septictank.co.uk. And on there, you'll see soak away kits. I do quite a few different um, soak aways, but say I've done it by number of bedrooms. So let's say you wanted uh, for one for one to two bedrooms, three to four, five to six, seven to eight bedrooms, and just literally click on that. And you've got some videos about the product and some more information. So that's not a sales pitch, by the way. I'm just saying septic tank soak away crates are very, very, very legal. They they are approved up and down the country by um, UK Building Control. So don't be misled by sites who say septic tank soak away crates are illegal. Quick phone the police or UK trading standards if you know someone who's selling them. There are always, always, always kind of people, sites that say that. Say it because they want you to buy their products. So there's just a free tip for you. OK, but listen, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this live broadcast today. Um, hope you have a great day. And if I've got time, I'm going to do another bro uh, live broadcast later. But um, until then, thanks for watching and see you soon.